Well, I've always told my production guys that I wanted to work on two things. One, one was a time machine. <laughs> and from the standpoint of not going back in time, but just giving me more time in the day because uh, it seems like I don't have enough hours in the day or the night to do everything that I wanted to do. So I don't know if it's time compression or whatever, but, uh, and the other one is, you know, of course the tele, you know, the transporter teleportation thing, but those probably aren't really achievable in the next uh, 20, 30 years. I'd say what I'd like to see uh, and something I'm trying to focus on um, more this year in Houston is I'm um, trying to identify startups that are working on age tech, you know, so I think there's a big gap in technology and technology supporting the elderly. So if I think about 30 years from now, I'll be what, 87 or something like that. And, uh, you know, there's, I, I hope that I'm still able to, you know, turn on the, the holographic TV and, and, and get my clock from stop blinking or you know, whatever the, the, the thing is back you know, in the future. But even now, I've been frustrated by just, you know, supporting, you know, either my parents or grandparents with technology and, and, and making it accessible and maintainable uh, for them. And we're, we're definitely, you know, nowhere near that yet. Right. And so I would like to try to, you know, work on those types of products and, and kind of help build that that future so that, you know, when I get there, um, you know, I, uh, I'm able to use it and and, and people that aren't, as, I mean, as technical as, as we are, you know, I, I don't know how, I, I imagine the frustration and how difficult it is for someone that's not in this industry to actually interact with these technical products that we develop.